At first glance, rabbits and hares seem almost interchangeable. They both have long ears, powerful hind legs, twitching noses, and a reputation for speed and skittish behavior. In cartoons, folklore, and even everyday conversation, the words rabbit and hare are often used as if they mean the same thing. But in the natural world, these two animals live very different lives, shaped by millions of years of evolution. One is a master of hiding and community, the other a symbol of speed and solitude. So what really separates a rabbit from a hare? The answer goes far deeper than size or speed. It reveals two completely different survival strategies. Let's dive into the fascinating showdown of rabbit versus hare. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. Rabbits are built for a life of concealment and cooperation. Most rabbit species prefer environments where they can dig, hide, and vanish at a moment's notice. Their bodies are generally smaller and more compact, with shorter legs designed not just for running, but for quick bursts of movement that help them dart into cover. One of the rabbit's most defining traits is its love of burrows. Many rabbits live in underground tunnel systems, often called warrens, which can house entire families or even large colonies. These burrows protect them from predators, harsh weather, and extreme temperatures. Living underground also shapes rabbit behavior. Rabbits tend to be more social animals, communicating with one another through body language, scent marking, and subtle sounds. Their survival depends on numbers, alertness, and the safety of their shared shelters. Hares, on the other hand, are built for open spaces and raw speed. Unlike rabbits, hares do not dig burrows or live in large social groups. Instead, they rely on their incredible running ability and sharp senses to stay alive. Hares are generally larger than rabbits, with longer legs, leaner bodies, and oversized ears that help regulate body temperature and detect danger from afar. Their powerful hind limbs are designed for endurance and explosive speed, allowing some species to reach astonishing velocities when fleeing predators. Rather than hiding underground, hares typically rest in shallow depressions in the ground called forms, relying on camouflage and stillness to avoid detection. When danger approaches, they don't retreat, they run, often zigzagging across open terrain to confuse their pursuers. One of the most striking differences between rabbits and hares appears right at birth. Baby rabbits, known as kits, are born blind, hairless, and completely helpless. This makes sense for animals that grow up in the safety of underground burrows, where vulnerability is less risky. Rabbit mothers can leave their young hidden and return later to nurse them, minimizing attention from predators. Baby hares, called leverets, are a completely different story. They are born fully furred with their eyes open and are ready to move almost immediately. Leverets are scattered across open ground, relying on camouflage and stillness rather than a nest or burrow. This early independence reflects the hare's entire lifestyle, alert, exposed, and always ready to flee. Diet-wise, rabbits and hares are quite similar, but even here their habits reveal differences. Both are herbivores, feeding on grasses, leaves, bark, and other plant material. However, rabbits often feed close to their burrows, making quick trips out to graze before retreating underground. Hares living in open landscapes like grasslands, meadows, and tundra range farther and feed more widely. Both animals practice a fascinating digestive process called coprophagy, where they eat special nutrient-rich droppings to extract maximum nutrition from their plant-based diet. This shared trait highlights their close biological relationship, even as their lifestyles diverge dramatically.
Behaviorally, rabbits are generally more cautious and community-oriented, while hares are solitary and bold in their escape tactics. A rabbit's first instinct when threatened is to freeze, then dash for the nearest burrow. A hare, by contrast, is more likely to rely on speed alone, sprinting across open ground in a dramatic display of agility and power. This difference has shaped how humans perceive them. Rabbits are often seen as gentle, timid creatures, symbols of fertility and domestic life. Hares, especially in folklore, are portrayed as clever, mysterious, and almost supernatural, often associated with the moon, trickery, and transformation. Reproduction further highlights their contrasting strategies. Rabbits reproduce rapidly, with multiple litters each year, a necessity for animals that face high predation rates. Their social structure and burrow systems help support this fast-paced reproductive cycle. Hares, while still capable of multiple litters, tend to have fewer offspring at a time, investing more in each highly developed leveret. This balance reflects the hare's reliance on individual survival rather than safety in numbers. Even their relationship with humans differs. Rabbits have been domesticated for thousands of years, bred for companionship, food, and fur. Their social nature and adaptability make them well-suited to living alongside people. Hares, however, remain firmly wild. Their need for space, speed, and solitude makes domestication nearly impossible. When we see a hare, it's usually as a fleeting blur across a field, a reminder of untamed nature. So while rabbits and hares may look similar at a glance, they represent two distinct answers to the same question. How do you survive as a small, vulnerable prey animal? Rabbits chose safety underground, community living, and rapid reproduction. Hares chose speed, independence, and life in the open. Both strategies work, and both have allowed these animals to thrive across continents and climates. The next time you spot long ears disappearing into the grass, take a closer look. You might just be witnessing one of nature's most fascinating contrasts in action. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.